Hello and welcome to my Fallout 4 experience and today I'm in the Glowing Sea and I'm just about to hopefully get a new friend. It's important to make friends in the Glowing Sea as you will see. Yeah, so anyway, that didn't work out too badly. I mean, the, the scorpion led us to some ghouls. Right now, we've come to Vault 95, which I cleared the other day when I brought Kate up here. Now, the idea of today is we're here to take out the last enclave. That is to say, the last enclave emplacement, which is uh, over here. We've took the other ones out already. So there's that's where we are. And over there you can see where the enclave is. So we're going to go over there. Now, of course, there is a, a settlement down here and a few hazards. Particularly, there's a three-legged robot in there, and there it is there. You might be able to see the faint red glow. Now, there, there's a door down there, and that robot will be activated as soon as that door is open. Of course, inside that house, in that hut, is a treasure chest, which would, uh, you know, make anyone want to go in that door. So, as long as you know that, Good. Right, as I said before, um, hazards all over the place down here. Now, there is a settlement down here, which uh, I don't want to really go to yet. It's um, it's one of those Minutemen Radiant quests. Um, yeah, so I, I want to avoid that as well. Now, there's normally a, a pack of dogs down here, three, three or four dogs down here, one which will probably be a legendary. Uh, and if we're lucky, we can avoid them. Yeah, so as you can see, we're getting really close to that settlement, and uh, I don't really want to uh, get into that right now, because we're going to cross the swamp, which is uh, full of... Uh, and of course, we're completely overweight. Now, we might be able to cut across the corner, actually, uh, and see if we can discover it. Let's try... Alright, so they're walking away. I'll wait for them to walk away and then I'll just nip over there just by that car and uh, nip through. Oh dear, there's someone at the, someone at the campfire. Oh, okay, we'll just keep going past. Okay, so uh, hmm, we haven't detected it. Yeah, this is uh, looking very much like the situation at Abernathy Farm, which uh, is also another Miniman Radiant quest, and it was only really after I'd possibly, well, as you can see there, I went right up to the fence and it didn't, uh, the game didn't allow us to, to, to detect it. So well, that's the situation there. Right, so our path will take us straight through that swamp. Now, down there to the right, centre, is a building, which we will make towards, and... Uh, climb to the top part most of that uh, building. Now there are ghouls all over here. There are Myalark hunters, uh, possibly Myalark queens, uh, Yalgo, uh, the bears, um, and of course uh, gunners. We're in gunner territory now. Oh, this is pleasant. I have uh, adjusted the uh, brightness settings so that we can see more of what's going on because it's well dark at the moment. And uh, it's no fun if you can't see what's going on. In fact, it's essential to be able to see what's going on. Right then, so there's our target. And there's a ghoul. Right, now we might be able to get that ghoul to be our friend. Let's see if I can... Uh, God, it's got incredibly laggy all of a sudden. No, oh well. Uh, we'll get rid of him. Now, I'll probably have to stand up so that Nick can make the stairs uh, and he doesn't stay downstairs and fight whatever creature comes out of the ground first. So I have to stand up. It's getting very laggy again. I don't know why. Um, right, turn and go straight up. Like that there. Go all the way around to the other side. It's straight up there. There's something's coming out of the wall already. I think it's a mile earth hunter. In which case it will be spitting acid in a minute now. So we have to like take cover and uh, arm ourselves appropriately and wait for the onslaught. I think Nick's made it up. Oh, where has it gone?
No yeah, there is a spitting acid, yes, so it's there. Right. Right, Nicky boy. Yes, there is, this is uh, this is the, the last stand of a minute, man. Uh, I don't think it's a quest, it's sort of one of those sort of things. You get like a, a laser gun uh, and, you know, one of the rotary lasers that the Minutemen use and a hat, which is handy. Hat's always handy. Uh, right, so where's that creature? Right, there it is, that's the creature. We'll give it a, a baptism of fire. We'll also go around in a circle and wake up anything that's out there. I don't want to reload the gun. Yes, all around us in a, in a circular pattern. Uh, that'll present us with, uh, we will see what's going on and uh, if there is anything out there, that'll wake it up. Right, let's see what, uh, I don't know, yes. Oh yes, another Maya Lope Hunter. Oh look, fusion cells, I'll pick those up. The thing is, the main th the problem with picking up stuff where I've been a power suit, of course, is the fact that you could automatically uh, come out of the suit and then die. So you've got to be very careful picking stuff up uh, in a power suit. Right, have we got it? Is it dead yet? Uh, not quite. It's getting there, though. Uh, where's it gone? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, excellent. Of course, I'm completely overweight. I think I must be carrying about oh, about 600. I'm only supposed to be. I'm only, I mean, I can only carry about you know 400. I love that hat. Of course, I could stand, stay, and maybe make some food out of the mire lurks, but I have to come out of the suit for that. And this, the swamp is so deadly, you can't uh, expose your soft skin of a human at any time. Right, so we should be able to get. Um, Okay, it's incredibly laggy. But I'm going to continue. You know, what can I do? Uh, where's that other one? So, the prize you get for defeating the monsters are all these drugs over here. And of course, we love drugs because you can sell them at such great prices. You know, um, jet, uh, you know, you make out of plastic and fertilizer and you can sell it for like up to 47. Uh, bottle caps each, you know, which is a huge amount if you've got like 10, you know, that's like uh, lots of caps. Right, so we're going to head across here. There's the Enclave's last position. Uh, we took the other one out the other night when I did the Coastal Cottage, where that video is yet to be, to be brought out. Uh, well, I, you know, that video was about the, um, the famous playing the sides against the middle. But more about that later. So it looks like our um, baptism of fire has uh, netted some results in, i.e. these ghouls are dead. We probably killed them. Now up there, could be anything up there. They could be, uh, oh, they could be the the glowing deer. They could be a bear. They could be mutants. They could be gunners, the ghouls, dogs, and of course the enclave, with their hellfire troopers. So we shall uh, make our way up there, having a look as we go, checking for mines and all kinds of things, and uh, before too long we'll be up there.
the other creature. Right, I think I can see the enclave from here. I can see their searchlight. So, yeah, every time we capture one of the enclaves emplacements, we get this book, you know, like a magazine, and it, it grants you the, uh, the ability to build certain aspects, or probably all aspects of the enclaves in emplacements. That would be the barriers, the beds, the ammo boxes, the radio, the laser guns, uh, whether or not allow you to build a, um, you know, like a, computer screen that you can control everything with I mean the benefits what are the benefits of having an enclave radio station surely that would encourage other enclave members to, to approach it well supposedly we could make a, a trap Right, well, we'll just take them out and uh, and then I'll have another load of armour bits to carry around with me. Mind you, I'll be able to leave it there, I think. I don't think I can take it with me. Hello, he's got a Tesla cannon. Oh, well, I'll have some of that. Yeah, it's got incredibly laggy, even more laggier than it was when I was in the glowing sea. So, yeah. So it looks like the Enclave has been experimenting with Myalurks. Nice. Okay, so that's the baby we were all looking for. So it'll allow us to build all kinds of wonderful, interesting things. Uh, hmm. Well, it's been interesting and uh, exciting and grim and dark and foreboding. Uh, I've enjoyed myself. Anyway, I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.